Hi and welcome back to the CNC Kiwi channel. Um, this time we're going to have a look at creating a part in 123D design and um, from that part we're then going to take it over into uh, Simplify 3D and um, print that. Um, the, the parts, um, just a, a handle, just off a drill press. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to draw that and um, I'll show you how to draw these sort of rounded, you know, complex curves and that sort of thing. So just a simple design, um, relatively easy, and um, this is the finished 3D print. So pretty much the same, um, doesn't have to be exactly the same, it's only a handle. But I'll show you how we've done that and how we draw that. So um, we'll go over to the 123D design software and I'll show, show you how that's drawn. Well here we are in Autodesk's 123D and um, We'll now start the drawing. So we'll just move the grid around just so it makes it easier. Um, we'll start off with a, a sketch a rectangle. So we'll just pick a spot. And the knob size itself is um, 40 mil wide by 50 mil high. So we can just move this around until we reach those figures, or you can um, you can actually type the sizes in yourself. So um, we'll just type those in, say. So 40, and then it jumps to the 50, so 50, and then, so here's our start of our drawing, and we'll just go to the top view to make it easier. Right, so we, to get curves um, in this type of model, just for a simple model, we just use the spline tool, so we'll now pick that, and we'll start off in the middle at the top, and we'll build our knob as it comes down to the bottom so just pick the center which is here and then we'll start to um, draw uh, you may not be able to see this too well but I'll, I'll draw it anyway so as we're drawing this we don't just draw it in one go we draw it and then click as we're drawing it and what that will do is that will add nodes in which can then after we've drawn the shape the basic shape those nodes can then be uh, moved around. So we'll close the model off there. Right, so here's our basic outline of one side of the knob. So what we'll do now, we'll grab these nodes and we'll just start to draw our model. So it's, it's a bit of a fiddle doing this, but it, it just perseverance. And we want to move this node here to the outside line because that's where our maximum width is going to be. Right, so we're now starting to um, take shape. Just um, we'll we'll delete. Oops, we'll delete this one here. Um, you can just simply delete a node by clicking on the one you want to get rid of and pressing delete and the node disappears. So we can then move up to the next node and we'll move this one just to get our curve here. And we'll just move this one down a tad and in a bit. And this one we want to just move in because obviously as the handle comes down towards the bottom, it comes down straight. So there's our basic shape. I mean, you can mess around with it a bit more to get it, you know, how you want it and that, but that's our basic shape just for this test. So we then need to um, draw a line straight down the middle. So we'll just do that. And that's going to be our axis at which we extrude this model. So straight down the middle, done. Right, so we'll just go back to the top view. And so here's our basic shape. So what we'll do now, we'll use the revolve tool. We'll pick our model, what we want to revolve. So what we've just drawn. And we need to also click on an axis, which we want to revolve it around to get, create our 3D shape. So we click, click here, and it's picked the right um, orientation. So we just literally type in 360 degrees, and boom. And that's how easy it is. So there's our knob. Obviously, it's laying down at the moment. But as we take it through into um, Simplify 3D, we'll turn the knob up, and we'll also place it on top of the heat bed. And um, like that, so we'll just save that, or we can export straight away. Uh, we don't need to change any settings here. 
and here's one I've referred earlier but we will overwrite that one and so that is it so what we'll do now we'll go over to simplify 3d and I'll show you how to import that turn the model around and sit it on top of the bed so here we are in simplify 3d so um, we just need to now browse to where our model is and um, double click that and we bring the model into simplify 3d um, you can see that this in the orientation of what it was in 123D design. So we just need to rotate that from its bottom and then um, get it to sit back up on the build plate. So all we literally do is double click on the model and that will bring up our model details here, which we can use to resize it, you know, scale it two times or whatever. And obviously the rotation part, which is here. So we want to rotate it in the Y direction and just flip it up on its bottom. So we go to Y and we show in there 270 degrees and there it is. So now it needs to be pushed up onto the build plate, which is easy. So we just go over to here and hit the center and arrange. And that will then put it back onto the build plate and straight in the, in the middle. Um, you can have the uh, model anywhere on the build plate, you know, simply by changing the settings here. Um, but we just will just leave it in the middle. So there you are, there's just a simple knob, how to draw the knob and just to get it into Simplify 3D in a printable state. Um, this um, particular one doesn't need any supports or anything like that because um, this angle here is under 45 degrees. So um, that's one thing to bear in mind when you're designing models. If you don't need it to be critical, make sure that you're over 45 or under 45 degrees um, and then it won't worry about supports, which obviously takes a lot longer to print and it wastes more plastic. So this, that's all there is to it. And then all you actually do need to do is just change the settings to suit and print it. Um, and that, that's it. That's all there is to it. So thanks for watching. And um, if you like my videos, um, there'll be more to come in the not too distant future. Um, hopefully, you know, with 3D printing, um, CNC laser, CNC machines, and that sort of stuff. So. Give me the thumbs up if you think that's good and um, I'll see you in the future. Thanks.